as I'm walking down here along the edge, this is about the third bed that I've ran across. So anyhow, definitely got some does bedding up. Got another bed right back in there. Creek's just on the other side of these trees. Noticed a lot of clover out here in this field, so anyhow, might be something worth coming back to in a later part of the year. Anyhow, I'm going to come up here and hit this ditch line and go back to the horseshoe that I had pinned. Alright, so if you see there's this strip of ditch line, which I fear would be a transition, but really they just let it get overgrown and never bailed it, so anyhow, back in here is where we're trying to get, so we'll see if we kick anything up along this transition line. Now that we've gotten back in here to the double horseshoe, starting to see a lot more sun. Got a nice trail beat down. Right back here at the edge. It's a little over half a mile back in here. But I knew if you got back clear to the edge, start running into some sun. Little path beat down going back into there. Looks like a nice bed. Definitely plenty of nippage where they're eating, so we got some activity. Looks like a perfect spot for a buck. Oh yeah, look right inside here. Looks like a nice big buck track, an old one. They get in here, let that wind blow over their back and then they can watch all out into here. Yes, yeah, a good looking spot. Really surprised we didn't kick anything up. We got a front moving in, so I figured do a little scouting and maybe run into some potential shooters. I'll hop back on here if I see anything interesting. Alright, we're back here where both of those horseshoes come together. I mean, we got some pretty good habitat, definitely plenty of sun. Even got a little bit of scraping going on in a couple places.
You can see the fields there, field there, field there, water back behind me. It's all pretty thick, so I would say if there's going to be some deer, they would be right in here. Oh yeah, big old buck track right there. Put my binoculars down there for reference. So, I mean, dew claws there, top of the spikes up there. Pretty decent buck. Another nice wide one there. A little bit of brand new rubbing. Got a bunch of nippage going on back here, so definitely been a buck here in the last, I don't know, 24 hours or so. Cause that's super fresh. I'm not touching it, but all that is super green and wet. Looks like a good spot. Sneak over here maybe by the water real quick. See what kind of access they have for getting up. I don't know. Looks pretty thick. I don't know if I want to try it. Looking around for stands. Don't see any. Get to looking up in the air. I really don't see any oaks. You'd think on this big mature tree right here, but I'm not seeing any. Looks like some scraping and breaking been going on right there. Definitely some bucks in the area, I believe. I don't know if you can see it, but we've got fish swimming in the creek here. And there's another one right over here. Anyhow, this is the creek. Hopefully I can get my scent blowing off into some good old historic sign here. Definitely some nippage going on from this year. Might be a spot to pin. Got a nice big oak here that I could get up in. Still not seeing any acorns on these trees here holy cow that's an eagle i've been seeing it whooping around following those many airplanes <laughs> that is cool I was trying to get up to this point a little bit quicker. I don't know, back this way. Back this way, about 75 yards I kicked up. Probably the biggest buck I've ever seen in my life. And he come running down to this point. There was three other bucks with him. I don't think I got down here quick enough. As you can see on the other side of the river, there's another field just like this. But then there's a, also a lot of bedding back over this way. So I'm just kind of wondering if they didn't sneak back off over into here. 
I just didn't get up here quick enough for what, but... Man, he was big. I know on his right side, seen at least four or five points, but the one back G2 had like three stickers coming off of it. I mean, just freaking monstrous. Makes me want to put my boat in and come down this way so I can access over here on this side. Maybe go up right here by this oak tree. Right here. Maybe sit in that oak tree. God, he was monstrous. Yep, just kind of right back there on that point. And I heard something in the water, and I assumed it was a canoe, because people canoe, and then all of a sudden I just so happened to see on the other side, seeing the two seen two smaller bucks and then another smaller buck and then him super big all right this is probably going to be my last video i make of this little scouting trip today but i've definitely Definitely optimistic about this spot. Got a big old ditch right here in front of me. And this little clearing right over here, a little open meadow clearing area, so. I dropped a pin, looks pretty promising. I see a bunch of uh, nippage, you know, where they've been eating the brows, and it's funny how I pinned this spot. Pretty good looking spot. I know there's at least one nice buck in here. I don't think I boogered him too bad, but I definitely spooked him out. I thought it was somebody putting their canoe in, but it was him crossing, so. It's hard telling. I'm sure they see humans pretty safe. Katie trails back there a little ways, so. I'm sure they've seen humans before. Anyhow, like, share, subscribe, and. Catch you next time.